so here i'm passing the taste name then my emulator name then the package name of my application you can see that uh, total five test cases run zero failure and five passes so what we tested if you know how to write code in selenium i think it is super easy to write the similar kind of code into your uh, apm also to automate so over to you deepak my name is deepak and i have a five year of experience and currently i'm working as a qa lead and today i'm going to give you the apm overview so let's start so first of all what is apm apm is a similar to the selenium it's a open source text automation tool for the mobile application it allows you to write a test cases for the android and ios application and you can use this uh, multiple language such as java python ruby and javascript so about its advantage so i already told you it's open source it support multiple programming language and we can do the android and ios both automation with the apm it also support the real device emulator and simulator so we can run our test cases on this three type of devices it also support hybrid native and mobile web application as promoter sir previously told us about the different type of application so it supports all of them and uh, it also support the cross platform so we can run on the windows mac and linux system so about its disadvantage it require i mean it's a little difficult to set up apm uh, we have to uh, follow the checklist to install it otherwise it will not work and will confuse uh, the second thing is it little bit slow compared to the other mobile testing or uh, automation tool uh, the third thing is it's not support the lower version of uh, lower than 4.2 android version and uh, it it's not support a uh, high level uh, high level features such as biometric authentication okay uh, we seen that in the in the paytm or some other applications like whenever we do the payment before that we'll see the screen to enter the otp or the our, our four or six digit code so we can we can't also automate that screen uh, we have to use some alternative ways to do that uh, okay so how to set up the apm so first of all we need jdk without the jdk it will not work so uh, many people who knows the selenium automation uh, they know how to do the jdk installation and we also have to set the environment path uh, the second thing we need is android sdk so it's a little difficult to uh, at the set set the android sdk so the best option is you can install the android studio so with the android studio it will come by default in your system and you also have to set up its path in your environment setup then you need a apm server desktop application and you also need a id id to write your code so you can use eclipse our intel j idea so the last thing you need is node you can you can directly download the setup file of node and you can install it and uh, in the in the future you also need i mean node will help you to start your server programmatically okay so right now i am i am manually clicking on the server and starting it so in the future if you don't want to do this then you can programmatically write the code and it will start automatically through the node and the sixth thing is very helpful for me it's a apm studio so it will help to find a locators and so many thing but we don't need apm studio to run our apm code okay so the next thing is desired capability so recently we seen the issue where in the selenium we have to add some argument to load the url the same way uh, it's easy to start the browser in selenium uh, yeah in the selenium like web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver but in the app automation we are dealing with the uh, devices so devices have the multiple android version uh, device type it can be android or ios then we also need to give the device number so device number is udid we are passing those information in the desired capabilities okay i'll show you how it looks it's a key pair value that we are passing uh, in the code to tell the cell, uh, apm that this uh, we are performing the automation in this device uh, there are some uh, desired capability that we have to make sure that we will add in our system so the first thing is device name then platform name then platform version then we have to pass the package version of the application and the activity name of the application okay so whenever we we click on the app icon and we can see the uh, the flash screen is coming so we have to add that activity name and then we also have to pass the automation name then only your application will start okay so after passing that much information your application will only start so we have to deal that much to start the apm so how the sample code looks so that much code is to just to connect your code with the real device okay real device or your emulator okay so here i am passing the test name then my emulator name then the package name of my application then the activity that i have to start okay so the splash screen activity to start the screen so it will start my Uh, application and that much code is going into the apm server so by executing this line our upper code will goes into the apm server and then we can use the driver so whenever you write like driver dot find element so after that much code you can use your driver see what very simple this apm works with 
like a similar to selenium for example suppose this is you it's very simple example suppose this is a car by the way it's a very bad car okay and there is a driver which is there in the car and you want to go from position a to b suppose what you will do you will tell to this driver i want to go from a to b so what what this driver will do it will basically take you from a to b yes or no what exactly you are going you are basically telling some kind of instruction i want to go from a to b i want to do this right all these are your instruction they are going to a apm server right this is a apm server how this is created how it is doing you don't have to worry about it because this is your emulator running emulator basically means it this it will basically emulate the kind of uh kind of mobile device but it's actually not a uh, mobile device it's not a real device this is not a real device but it, it is very close to that right it's very close to that in this case right so now what will happen you are telling your you, this is the code that you have written so this is a code that you have written in the uh, red part the red part is the code you have written and in this code you have told please open a application click on this button and then enter username password whatever and click on sign in button this is your login scenario you are passing this information through code to the apm server now apm server will basically do the uh, execution on the mobile device whatever the result is there it will give back to you here concept is clear you will give certain kind of instructions here it will go to apm server apm server is the person who can basically understand what you are typing it will convert into actions it will execute for you in the emulator right now you can run the same test case into your real device also by the way right apm support both of them so you can run on emulator also you can run it on the real device also. if you have your device cut connected to the machine you can do that so this is what it is happening so right now the code that you see right which is uh, deepak is showing you this part and it is connecting to apm server and it will execute it on a emulator right so here is my code and uh, so i will not explaining you my code okay uh, i will just show you the base code and then i will run run the automation okay so here is my base code so i mean as per the w w3c protocol okay you need many thing like platform name device name automation name then udid udid means the emulator name okay then package name activity name that much you need no matter what but currently i'm using only the automation name uh, udid package name and activity name okay just the four thing so with just the four thing we can also uh, execute the code so i created a few test cases for the login screen i'll just execute it so all this is just uh, through the automation code that we are right now running so whatever the code yeah, that you have written it is going through the apm server apm server is basically giving this instruction to emulator emulator basically mimics the real device but it's not actually real in this case right it's basically yeah, so you can say contains everything that you see on a real device but it's not a real device simplest definition so overall funda which is basically mentioned for this session right what you can say it's very simple if you know how to write code in selenium i think it is super easy to write the similar kind of code into your uh, apm also to automate see the demo part which we wanted to give you in this part is to give you an overview that this is if you know how to write a code in selenium or if you know how to write a simple thing scenarios you can definitely write the same automation in mobile also. it is just that you need to add a different configuration that's it okay so the test cases is completed and uh, we can see that uh, total five test cases run zero failure and five passes so what we tested login with invalid invalid format id login without password login with valid id password login without id password and login with uh, the user that not registered in the system okay so we tested that much and yeah that's how it shows shows you that it pass or fail so the the message is uh, written by me okay that's why it's coming there here but this is by this is uh, we are getting from the selenium after the executing the code okay All right thank you Deepak for the demo i think this makes sense